Hi, I'm Neil Curtis from neilcurtis.me. Welcome to another Gravity Forms tutorial. This time we are going to style the individual input field containers in Gravity Forms. So here we have a post with a Gravity Form embedded and it's not being styled at all. And we have a header and description of the form here. And we have two input fields. We have a single line text field here got the field title and then we've got the input field and then we've got a radio buttons field here so we've got the title and three options so what we're going to do now is look at styling the input field section so it's this part here and and these three radio buttons here in gravity forms so what we have to do is go into the dashboard of our WordPress site and just open this in a new window we need to go appearance and go into our editor we're going to be adding some code some css styling code so with this theme which is a 2013 theme in wordpress the css editor opens up straight away but if it doesn't in your particular theme you will be able to see it down this list of files on the right hand side but ours is open just so scroll right down to the very bottom and then we'll start typing in some code so to target the input fields we need to write Okay, so I'll stop here. We need to write body hash g form underscore wrapper underscore four. And in this particular example, we're targeting the individual form which has an ID of four. So we put underscore four because we're targeting this particular form. If it was form number one, it'd be one here. And if it was two, it'd be two examples. But it's form, form number four. But if you did want to just say, I want to apply the same styling to every single form I ever put on this site. You can get rid of this ID and then instead of having the hash, you have a dot. And then this would target every single form on the site. But we want to target individual forms, so we'll put the hash and then the underscore four. Then we continue with the rest of the styling. So we need to write G form underscore body because it's in the body section it's form not from and we need to go dot g form underscore fields then we need to write dot g field and then finally because we're targeting the input field containers we need to write dot g input underscore container open and close curly brackets so all of this is just building up identifying a single section that we want to target in the gravity form and this time it's the input container so we've got open and close the open and close curly brackets so in between these brackets we need to put our styling so we can give it a border you'll see we want it to be two pixels we want it to be a solid line and we want it to be blue so I'll update this style sheet and we'll go back to our form refresh it and there you'll see it's drawn a blue border around the input field so it hasn't got the whole field element it's only looking at the input field area itself and the same with the radio buttons so we'll just do a little bit more we'll put a bit of padding here of 30 pixels we update that and refresh our page you see it's put a padding around these input fields so that's it we'll just leave it there just a very quick simple styling but showing you how to target the input field containers in gravity forms make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you and also head over to my website which is www.neilcurtis.me where I have lots more guys tutorials about gravity forms and WordPress and other web design things.